In this video, I wanted to show how to fix something that's going on with the tracks editor. And uh, I've used the tracks editor before, but I've never really tried to export anything, you know, animation and kind of bring it into another project, at least uh, most recently in the tracks editor. And it gave me an error and I was kind of had to investigate, figure out why it was doing that and came upon a solution. So I'm going to show you what the problem is first. So kind of the idea here was that I was setting up some lip sync poses using the tracks editor. And I'm going to select just some of these controls. And actually I have a I kind of created a, a shelf button that lets me select all the controls. And then what you can do is you can uh, kind of add these to a clip or add these to, uh, you know, you can kind of create a, a pose uh, based on, you know, certain key keyframes. So I created some poses. Uh, these are kind of broken up here, but at least it gets the point across. So I've got this pose that I kind of created and I have the, the clip set up and I wanted to export that. So I went to file and I went to export animation clip. And uh, I saved it as mouse shapes. I'm just going to save it over as that or attempt to. And I click save and it says, do you want to replace it? Yes. Uh, but it gave me this error down here, right? And if I open up the uh, graph editor, and I'm going to, sorry, go back to that. So uh, it kind of tells me that there's this error in line 12, could not save file. And uh, it's in this uh, do export uh, clip arg list uh, script. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. I figured out actually uh, what you can do to fix that. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Open Script. There's a lot of different ways you can open a script, but uh, this is one of them. And I'm going to go to Do... I just typed in D-O-E, so Do Export. Oh, sorry, let me... I meant to select here, and then D-O-E. And I'm going to go down to Do Export... Clip arg list mel, not the res.mel, but the uh, do, uh, sorry, that's enable, do export, do export clip arg list mel, right? That's the mel file that, that is run. So when you do that, it opens it up in a new tab. And that was uh, error in line 112. So it's got to be happening before that. So it took me a little while to figure this out. But if you go down to line 112, you have this uh, line. And I did some testing, and the line actually worked well. What was happening was uh, in this line right here. So if you look up the file command, you, you could go to the Autodesk resources and look this up. And I looked up what prompt was, and prompt zero means that it's not going to do any kind of prompting, file prompting. And I'm uh, teaching, so I've been using the educational version. This is what, it, what the problem is. So if you change that to a one, and I go to file. So anybody that's using, by the way, I, anybody that's using the educational version, the student version, uh, like me as an, as an educator, as a teacher, I'm using the educational version, the student version. Uh, it's prompting you to, you know, that, that this is a student version. So with that set to zero, it's not doing that prompt. So if I save the script, and actually what I can do is I could just run it now. Uh, and if I run the script, it saved it, but if I, it'll only enable that, it'll only run that script when I start up Maya. But I could just kind of force it to run. So I just press this uh, execute button. This runs everything. This will run a specific line. So if you kind of hover over that, and you look at the help down in the left-hand corner, it says execute but this says execute all. So that's what I want to do. I executed that entire script, right? And I can actually, uh, if you want, you can kind of clear those both out, but you don't want to save this tab. You just need to close that tab. So I'm just going to go to command and I'm going to uh, delete tab. Uh, do you want to save changes? I don't, I already saved it. So I just kind of cleared everything out. And now when I close this and I go to file, whoop, I need to select, again, I need to select controls and then I see the clip. And I go to File, and I go to Export Animation Clip. I select that mouse shapes. That's the one I want to save all my clips in. And I click Save, click Yes. It prompts me. It's a student version. Do you want to save it? You click Continue, and it's saved. It actually saved that clip. And it was really that simple. It just because they had set the script to uh, not prompt and just save. Uh, that was kind of the idea behind the script. But it's breaking because of the student version. It still works, but uh, it just kind of was stopping at that point. It would error out because uh, you couldn't do that. And that's how to fix it.